Welcome to Going Carnivore in Thailand. This is another ribeye unboxing day. As you know, we've been having very good luck obtaining fresh ribeyes locally raised in Thailand, about 300 kilometers from here, a farm, they're grass fed, and they have excellent marbling on them. Uh, I've never been to the farm. We've been buying them off of a Facebook link. And uh, I'm making the audio of this, even though you may see Noy's lips move, the audio, the remote mics that we were using for some reason weren't working. So. I was asking her right now how much do they cost and of course we got 32 ribeyes and they were about two inches thick each and we paid approximately five dollars and forty cents per pound for these 32 ribeyes and there'll be a lot of pictures to let you see the fat content, the marbling. I didn't weigh each and every one of them. This is like the seventh or eighth time we've ordered. So that box there, all that meat, that's only 16 ribeyes. Each ribeyes right around a pound. Uh, some are pound and two or three ounces. And uh, they have made a, they're really giving us the eye of the ribeye. I guess since we buy so much from them and we make these videos and other people in Thailand have been ordering from them, they're excellent and they've just treated me so good that I don't know exactly how they uh, term this, but sometimes we get that one there, for example. It looks like it's got a ring in it, and then the ring is separated by this layer of fat that you can cut when you're eating it. Now, here's the second box that came in. And it's also got another 16 ribeyes like the first ones. And they come in a refrigerated freezer truck. It takes about, I guess, two days for them to uh, ship them here by freezer truck. Because they actually come into the city of Padilla to a distribution center. And from, them, from there, they come in a smaller truck directly to our door. And like I said, all this meat was about $5.40 a pound. So we paid about $175 or so. For all this meat. 8,000 baht actually. And you see how thick it is. So even though it may be a smaller steak in circumference, you do get a lot of meat there because it's thick. Now I'm sure she's holding that up because we're actually talking but the mics weren't working. I find them just to have just enough fat on them the way that they're being delivered here. And we just call them, you know, give us your best ribeyes, make sure you cut them two inches thick. The reason I like them thick is because when I sous vide them, that way we can keep the inside rare to medium rare and then when we freeze them and then later put them on the on a super hot skillet to uh, to sear them uh, the insides stay that medium well because it's so thick it doesn't heat up as quick so this is the unboxing of another 32 and that basically will last me about a month. 
Here I'm showing you how we actually end up sous vide them. We've got a little plastic container. There's the sous vide at 57.4 degrees centigrade. Got 32 hours left on this batch. And we sear them up four at a time. I'm sorry, we sous vide them four at a time. And then we put them in the freezer. And uh, we could get a bigger one and do them eight at a time, put them in the freezer. But the freezing keeps the juices inside. These are really nice and juicy steaks. They're not too dry. So thanks for watching. And uh, retire on Bitcoin. And that's the end.